And facing the possibility of more than a foot of snow, Colorado businesses, transport operators and shelters, they're already planning ahead. Live this evening with those preparations. Yeah, they are certainly are preparing and it's pretty nice outside right now. So you might not expect a winter storm is on the way, but it certainly is. And you need to prepare. And as part of our promise to keep you prepared, we've reached out to local stores, to local government organizations to hear what they're doing to prepare as well. Colorado is no stranger to snow, but this weekend's incoming storm is one we likely haven't seen in more than a decade, and preparations are already underway. The business plan for the weekend is to stay open as long as we possibly can. From Ace Hardware in Englewood to grocery stores across Denver to public works and utilities, they're all making plans for the feet of snow that are expected. AAA suggests you stay at home this weekend, but if you have to go out, RTD says they plan to operate through the storm. They have extra mechanics to keep the light rail operational, and they're even running special trains throughout the night to clear ice from the power line. And if this storm is as big as projected, don't be surprised if we see power outages. XL Energy says they're in contact with their own meteorologists to prepare. Thankfully, we won't see blackouts like we saw in Texas. XL says their grid is ready to handle the cold. But in order to conserve energy, XL says Coloradans should turn down their thermostats below 68 degrees, open drapes and blinds to bring in heat from the sun, run ceiling fans, and open doors to circulate warm air. So get the snow blowers and shovels ready. Bare basics would be a good sturdy snow shovel, making sure that you have ice melts either in bucket or a bag. Employees at Ace Hardware in Englewood say they'll have some extras ready if you forget. If we can get here, we'll be here no matter what. And for our vulnerable Coloradans experiencing homelessness, shelters say they're open and getting overflow spaces ready. The mission this week is to get people indoors. Getting them inside and out of the cold could be, you know, the difference of life and death. Now we did hear we did reach out to Walmart, King Supers and Safeway for their plan on keeping those shelves stocked. We haven't heard back just yet, but we'll be sure to keep you informed when we do. The best piece of advice is to stay calm, but probably head to the store in the next few days.